Hey guys, it's been a very long time since I've made a tutorial. I've been working on other things like related to school and short films that I've been working on. Anyway, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to fix more of like a glitch than a problem with the Vera. Uh, I, I've noticed this on both my laptop and my desktop. But when you hover over the Avira icon right here, sometimes it shows that the status is, uh, it says action required. And there are a few things that may help. Um, they have not really helped me, but they may help you. You could um, scan your system, go to system scanner on the left here. And then right click full scan and then start that scan and, and it should take a few hours because it's scanning your whole system and there are other things that may help like you could try updating it just like that it shows that mine is up to date but one thing that works every single time with me hopefully it works with you every single time is you can restart the service um, you can restart one service that is associated with Avira. Uh, one way you can do that is from Task Manager. Just right, cl right click on the taskbar or hit Control Alt Delete and hit Task Manager. You would go to the Services tab and then you would click on uh, this service, Avira.ServiceHost. You would either hit stop and once that stops you hit start or you hit this restart button I guess that's a little bit easier so right now I'm I just hit the restart button and you'll notice at the the bottom right hand corner uh, the Vera icon disappeared and then it reappeared and then it should bring up uh, the status as protected and you can also restart the service from the actual services um, window. You can either open up services right here. It's not really necessary if you already have it open in Task Manager. You can hit the Start menu or search Windows and search for services. You can also hit the Windows button and R button to bring up the Run box. And then you would type in services.msc right here and hit OK. And that should bring it up as well. It doesn't matter if it's on extended or standard. Uh, it should show up on either of those. And just right click it and then you have these options. All right, so that's how to temporarily fix this problem. And what I mean by that is if you, if you fix the problem one day, it might show up another day. Now, I don't know why this happens. It's not really a problem, like I said. It's more of a glitch with Avira, it seems like. Uh, hopefully, Avira acknowledges this issue um, and tries to get it fixed. And uh, I, hope, I hope this video helps you out. I mean, I can't guarantee that this same problem will not happen in the future. So, uh, thanks for watching.